My favorite Detroit Lions fan is Jalen Rose. Jalen, what'd you think of your new guy? I applaud his enthusiasm. He used to play for the team. It was laughable to me that some people thought that Eric B. Enemy would interview for our job, knowing that we weren't going to pay top dollar for a coach. With that being said, I want the big fella to understand, we need resuscitation. This whole kick in the teeth and bite at the knees, we're already dead. We need you to bring <laughs> us back to life. We won one playoff game in 60 years. Like, J Greeny, like, I remember when Wayne Fonts went 8-8, eight and eight, we played another one bites the dust. And it was Gary Danielson and Eric Hipple. And then Bobby Ross got the job. And he wanted to put a full back in front of Barry Sanders. And you know what Barry did? He retired. We had Marty Mordenwig as our coach. And I remember, I'll never forget, watching him and Rod Marinelli play against one another. And I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah. Rod Marinelli, when you're a Lions fan, you can cuss. It's Rod Marinelli and Jim Swartz. I'll never forget, I was watching the Cowboys play against the Eagles. And both of those coordinators were being celebrated. And I'm thinking, those are the last two Lions coaches. And one of them went 0-16. I root for a team that went 0-16. So I'm just happy that he wants the job. But here's what I want him to know. Lions fans like myself are diehard. It's the organization that's had Lynn Barney, okay? Night Train Lane, Barry Sanders, Megatron. Am I selling it to him, Greeny? Is that a good You're enough sell You're doing the best job? you can. You don't have to sell him. <laughs> He's already taken the job. Let's see how it goes. All right, I'm glad that you're excited at least a little. Kicking honks out and kicking out teeth feels familiar. I know a lot of people who that's familiar to. And Dan Campbell wants to have a tough football team. This is the way that he's expressed it. He's been an interim head coach before, assistant head coach in New Orleans. Clearly they wanted to give him the job, so let's go take hunks out of people. Yeah, and and and, and again, these are two separate... I 100% hear what you're saying. From a separate standpoint, I'm just thinking to myself, Rob Ninkovich, if that's what you're selling, you know, every football team is tough. If there's one thing I've learned being around you guys my entire adult life, every football player is tough. You don't need the coach talking about biting off kneecaps. What did you think of that yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the problem is, the problem, the problem comes to be in 2021 when you have a draft pick from California, he drives to Detroit in his Tesla, <laughs> and you asked him to run down on kickoff and bite kneecaps, he's going to respond and say, I'm a vegan. I don't, I don't eat meat. I don't bite kneecaps. So that is, that is the problem with the modern athlete and the, these young athletes today. That old school tough guy, run through break glass, hit that guy full speed, bite his kneecaps off. We're going to be tough. Every team, look, we've, we've been playing football for a long time. I've heard the tough guy, the crazy rah-rah stuff. And and at, at times, that just gets old. You need a, a coach that can come in, that can relate to what a young athlete is going through. And right now, a young athlete comes in. They're saying, what's my social media account followings and, and my marketing <laughs> ability right now? They're trying to sell T-shirts on social media, and they're trying to be pro bowlers and get paid. And they don't want to eat kneecaps. I don't want to bowl in kneecaps either. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.